Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we're going to start off by uh, doing a little bit of building, just set up a bit of a shelter for ourselves, and then uh, after that, we're going to go rescue the blacksmith and uh, make some, some stuff. <laughs> uh, so that's the plan. Uh, I did spend some time off camera doing uh, some resource gathering. Uh, so we've got lots of wood, uh, almost 100 stone, decent amount of fur, uh, all the stuff that you see in here, 12 metal scraps, which is a pretty decent amount, too. Um, and then this guy's got just uh, extra stuff inside. Um, so, yeah, I pretty much have gone through Fort Long Long Fort or whatever the hell this place is called uh, and cleared everything out, broke everything down, found a couple more chests, got myself a total of uh, six potions throughout that process, uh, which is great. I uh, found some corn, too. Corn is good because it gives us uh, two strength to our attributes. Got some wolf meat cooked up here. That gives us two constitution to our attributes. Uh, and then, of course, we have a bunch of water there, too. I uh, found one uh, rusty short sword off of one of the undead dudes. Uh, killed quite a few of them, in fact. But actually, it looks like I got two of those. Um, so you know what we can do? We can go here and salvage that, and that gives us seven runes, which we can use for weapon upgrades later. Let's put this in here. I am going to keep this extra one just in case we're out in the field and, you know, we lose all of the durability on the axe. Uh, it gives us a backup weapon. Okay, so there's not really anything else I can do until we get the blacksmith in terms of crafting. I think I've crafted pretty much everything that I can, um, aside from, of course, building stuff, which is what we're going to do now. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is let's do this. Let's get our building hammer out. Uh, we'll get that and put it down here in the third slot and equip it. And then, uh, okay, yeah, so this orange line here shows us our border. But what I was thinking is maybe moving the flame altar more over to here. And then, you know, we have this whole area here to build in. Or what we could do, I mean, the only reason I'm here right now is just because we have... You know, essentially because we have this bed right here. I mean, that's... Oh, well, and the well, too. Um, but, you know, it's not super critical that we are near those things. Plus, not, you know, not to mention we can make our own bed once we get the place set up. So, uh, we are a little bit closer, you know, to the bridge this way, too. But none of that stuff really matters because, you know, once we get set up, we can use fast travel, which we will be doing in this game. It's just kind of part of how this... Uh, you know game works and uh, you know sometimes when I play these games I don't do fast travel because I think it's it's too easy peasy limit squeezy but I think it just kind of fits with the way this particular game works so we'll, we will be using it and so you know with that being said maybe what we ought to do is just go ahead and go back you know to the plane area uh, you know which is just right over here and and do our build over here just so we have you know, more room. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, so let's go back over to here. I can have a total of two flame altars. And um, so what we'll do is we'll set the second one up over here and then we'll probably just break that one down. And then, you know, that way we can put another flame altar somewhere else later. And then once we strengthen the flame, then we can have even more flame altars. So uh, but that'll be just a little while before we're ready to do that. So let's grab this here. Just get a couple of these resources out of the way. Um, I guess that rock's too big to pick up by itself. And um, we'll go into our crafting menu. Let's craft a new frame, uh, flame altar here. It is on my number five slot. And I think we'll just be... Yeah, that should be good right about there. Okay, cool. Very good. All right, now let's go back to here. And um, I'm going to... I've got... I, I need to make some blocks is what I need to do. Is this something we can... Yeah, we can pick this up. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you what. Give me, give me a, a, a moment. I'm going to cut the camera... I'm going to move the workbench and the two storage bins over to the new location. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've got the, everything moved over here. 
Um, the bench and the two storage chests are right on the very border of uh, our building area, uh, so they're not in the way. My general plan for our first base here is we're going to kind of set it up, I guess, what you might call villa style. So, so we'll keep the uh, flame altar in the center, kind of like in a courtyard, and then we'll build the building around it on all four sides. And then have one, one room for like bedroom, one room for like kitchen, one room for crafting or something like that. I don't know. We'll just have, have to see how it comes together. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make ourselves some blocks and we'll probably have... Uh, well, we'll definitely, I definitely want the courtyard to be made out of stone. Um, so let's open this up and grab all of the stone that I currently have. And then if we go into here, we can make a hundred stone blocks with, with just two stone. Man. Okay. Uh, just because I'm curious to see how far we can get with that. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just start with that. Okay. So. Uh, press tab to enter building mode, select the shape you want to build with, select the material, open the submenu, select from different categories. Right. Okay. So, so we're going to build from stone. And if we go, if we press alt for more shapes, I guess I have to hold that down um, and go to the four meter size. That way we have, um, you know, the maximum size there. And I guess, Oh, okay. So we need 200. Oh, okay. I see how that works. We need 256 blocks in total just to do one of these big foundations. I gotcha. Okay. So what we're going to do then instead is, um, well, let's go into here. I'm going to make, I mean, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. So let's just make a bunch of them. Maybe we'll keep we'll keep 20 stone for now. Okay. This is my very first time uh, working with building in this game, by the way, just so you know. Okay, so we're going to put we're going to surround the flame altar with stone foundations. Good. And that oh. What What just happened? Oh, I removed it. Okay, didn't mean to. <coughs> I right-clicked, thinking that would deselect, and what it actually did was remove it. Okay, so that... I mean, that makes the courtyard plenty big. The thing is, is we're probably going to want to put some things outside, you know, like um, the forge, you know, things that you just... Well, not necessarily. I mean, we could put... A forge indoors as long as it had plenty you know proper ventilation i suppose uh, but let's just start with that okay now the house part i want to make out of uh, out of wood at least you know starting out so let's go into here and grab I, i've got a full stack of wood there so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to just turn this entire stack into wood blocks And I guess you can't like hold it down. You have to keep continually press the space bar to, to make all of these. I might be way over making these or I might not. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how it comes together here. There we go. Let's go into our backpack here and um, I'm going to move this sword out of the way. We'll put this down here. Oh, actually, wait a minute. You, do we need, we might not need to do that. Do these have to be on the toolbar is the thing. I bet, I bet they don't. Okay. Enter building mode. No, they don't. Okay. Um, all right. So if I do control down, that gets me to the wood blocks. Very good. Okay. So now let's go ahead and we're going to want these to be out I'd say at least two foundations. Oh, shoot. No, it's not lining through. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, 
Okay, let, let me try something here. If I keep um, I keep pressing right mouse button thinking it uh, you know it gets out of this mode, but I have to press escape to get out of that mode. All right, I'm I'm thinking this might be a little too narrow. But let's let's go back into build mode here and bring this up. And I want to Okay, how do I switch to the next thing? Shift rotate use shift do I just do this? Change category. Okay, that's the category, but how do I switch to the wall? Um, oh, okay. So you, I guess you can't do it while you're holding alt. You have to switch to the category and then you can use... Okay, I see. I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, here's what I want to figure out. If I... Press R to rotate. Let's put the, that wall there. Um, okay. So now if we go to four meter roof. <laughs> Missing materials. Craft roof blocks at the work. Oh. Oh, that's a whole separate block. But I, I think this answers my question, though. So we can do one roof up and one roof down if we go too wide. But I'm still thinking, and this is going to be a huge base if we... Better to have too much room than not enough, though, right? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I'm going to do it this way. I think I'm going to do it this way. Um, but of course we need the, we would use a corner block here. Okay. So, oh, I did it again. <laughs> what, <coughs> what game is it that I play that the right mouse button? I think it's Ark. It's probably Ark that's screwing me up here. So yeah, it's Ark's fault. Uh, <laughs> okay. Put that back. Okay. Don't right mouse click. Just press escape. All right, we need to make some, we need to make some roof blocks. Um, oh, those are made out of plant fiber. Yeah, this, this might be a, a bit expensive for us right now. So I think we're just going to do plant fiber roof to start with. Um, so let's grab plant fiber. And I don't know how many blocks we're going to need. So let's just see. Let's make about that many. There we go. Okay. So back into build mode. Um, go down to four meter roofs. And that's a corner roof. So that'll go there. And then this is just... That kind of oh, god damn it! I keep doing it. Uh, oh, you know what? I think we can press Y to undo. Oh yeah, right. Oh, I didn't set those correctly, anyways. Okay, start over. Let's let's do this one first. So, um, I think is that right? Or yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. So let's go back to here then, and we just want to bump that up against the edge there. Good. Okay. So yeah, what we're going to do then is we're going to, we're going to just do this too wide all the way around. Does that tree disappear if I put that there? It doesn't. Okay. Well, obviously we don't want that to happen though, so... Let's grab this and we'll just cut the tree down. We need more wood anyway. 
Plus, this tree looks like it's dead. Oh, no, just on the bottom. Just on the bottom branches. All right, I'm going to run over and sleep just because uh, it's dark. And so that way it's not so dark in the video. If I was just doing this by myself, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I don't want to be too dark for you guys. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, we're back. So let's go ahead and go into the build menu and continue setting down our um, foundations here. Okay, so we got a little bit of a weird thing going on with the terrain here. Um, I was kind of hoping that, you know, when I set these down, it would just remove the terrain, you know, kind of like it does in um, No Man's Sky. If I put walls up here, would that make the terrain go away? doesn't okay so i'm gonna have to here let's put that one in i think i'm gonna probably have to use the pick to remove this hmm that appears to break the the boards though okay so let's go back to here and can we un we can undo the f uh uh okay hold on yeah i think let's just undo all of that and we're going to have to Why doesn't the terrain, or, or the grass more specifically, go away? I don't know. Okay, well, let's, um, let's remove it now. At least, you know, at least we can do that, right? got these little pieces right here hmm. can't seem to target those specifically Yeah, so I don't know. I guess we're going to have those little floaties there. There's still just a little bit right on the edge here. So it does look like the first... Well, except for... I was just going to say, it looks like the first stroke of the pick just removes the turf, but not necessarily. I mean, that's probably good enough, though. I'll bet you that's good enough. Okay, so let's go back to here. Um, and now we'll put these back in place. Uh, oh, good. Uh, wait, no. I was going to say, it just got rid of those little pieces, but it didn't. They're, they're going to hardly be noticeable, though. I, I just hope they don't cause us any problems with the build itself, you know. Okay, so let's go ahead now and start putting in walls. And we're going to, I am, of course, going to want windows, and we're going to need a door, too. I'm thinking that the door should go over here. Well, we'll probably have at least two doors. So maybe a doorway on that end and a doorway. I want to make sure we're lined up with the flame altar there. Or we could even do a doorway on all four sides. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. 
Okay. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so um, now we need to do walls and windows. So... I think what we'll do is... Let's put a window on each side of each door. And maybe what we'll... Yeah, let's just do that for now. Uh, the thing that's cool about this game is even once you have, you know, like all these walls in place, you can still carve out a window later. So, you know, we're not like completely... Oh, here, I want that. I want that uh, resin there. You know, so we're not stuck with with what we put in initially. So let's actually look at that for a second. If we wanted to... Thinking about making these... Okay, actually, here... Yeah, I, I did actually want to remove that. Let's make this block the window block. Can I just do this? I'm going to remove it first. All right, now, um, I want to go back to, uh, let's see, let's go back to one meter blocks, right? Yeah. And then what we can do is come here and make that larger. That's right. Let's go back out here for a second. Uh, all right, how do I make window blocks? Windows. We need some more wood logs here. So we need to carve out, to see, do we need to go to the left or right? I think we need to go to the right to get that to line up correctly. No, we're taking that out, not putting it in. I, okay, so escape from there, pick up. There we go. We'll figure it out. There we go. Okay, yeah, I like that. All right, let me get these other windows done. Okay, so this is actually easier to do if you use the two by two block. And then you just shave the top of that part off. Um, I also screwed up this, so if we just go back to here, we should be able to fill that back in. I really like the building in this game, man. This is amazing. Okay, let's go back to four meters, uh, and we want to remove that and remove that. Put that in there and make this a, a window. And then we go back to one meters. And then this block here is what we were doing. There. Okay, cool. Now we just got to put the windows in. You know what you could do is... 
went in like that and it kind of looks like the window's open. Huh. Something to keep in mind anyway. All right, for now I'm just going to put him in like normal. Excellent. Okay, so that gets the windows done. Um, now what I... Do, 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 let me think about this. I, th I think... Yeah, we just got to... We're going to do a bunch of roof. Then I'm also going to put in... Uh, you know, because this is a villa style house... I might not put in walls along here. We might do pillars instead. Um, so let's go back to... Here, uh, press Alt and go to roofs and kind of just play around a little bit with what that might end up looking like. So we'll just do to there. Um, now What? I think we got to use this inverted piece for here. Uh, yeah. I think that just like that. Right? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks right. Cool. Okay, so if we continue this on just a little bit more, let's just go like to there, there, and there, and then we'll do the same thing over here. Oh, well, I guess I could have just, and yeah, we're out of grass. Okay. That's fine. Okay, now. We definitely want pillars on the corners, for sure. I think this sized pillar. Um, how do I get that to... I had it there for a second, I think. Uh, it, it, there? Yeah. So we could either try the skinny one, which I think is probably what we want, or what does the bigger one look like? I think I like the skinny one because this one's kind of protruding up, you know, from the top there. Yeah, so let's go with the skinny. We want it right on the corner there and right there. Oh, no, not right there. Undo that. It's a little, it, it's a little tricky getting it to go, yeah, like that. Doable, just a little tricky. Okay. Um, now, do we have something like half walls? Let's go back to wood and go here. Two meter. We do with this, but hmm. those are stairs. I, I just don't like they, they stick up a really high is the thing. Okay, so if we go to one meter Yeah, I like I like this idea better. Except for 
what if we then went to here? All right, how do I uh, see? How do I rotate sideways? Or can I? There's a four meter option. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, except for I can't get it to. <coughs> yeah, the height is still not correct on this. I can get it to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to manually or individually build this and kind of make it like a railing or a, 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 almost a fence idea. I mean, that could work, really, actually. That could work. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging that, man. I'm kind of digging that. But I'm also thinking maybe what we should do is put stone columns in here, too. Um, okay, so let's go back to stone and go to here. Getting that right on top of there is, oh, there we go. Bit of a challenge. Um, we need to All right, hold on. Undo all of this. We need to undo that and that too. Okay, now I'll go back to here. Yeah, yeah, you have to kind of stand back, I guess, to get that to. Oh, <laughs> nope. Um, there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Now I guess the next it question is. Do we want to leave this as a quote unquote rail with an open, you know, open underneath? Or would it look better if we, um, yeah, I think I like that better. I think I like that better. Okay. So what I'm going to do guys is cut the camera here. And I'm obviously I need to gather up a bunch more resources too, so I'm going to gather up enough resources to finish the the build essentially, and I, I, I'll set up this this deal you know all the way around for the inside walls, and um, when that's done, then I'll bring you guys back, and we will f figure out where to put stuff. We need to you know we need to make a bed and a fire fireplace and all that kind of thing. However, um, I might not be able to make that quite. E oh, actually, no. Okay. Okay. So we can do the fireplace. We can set up tables, chairs, benches, uh, make our own bed. And um, we we're obviously, oh, wait a second. Here's fences. Uh, I don't think that's, I don't know if that's going to look right. Well, here, let's just try it real quick. Yeah, see that that's not gonna look right. Look good. This is more of a fence like for a corral or something like that. Um, I think this is gonna look better. When it's all set up. Okay, yep, so I'll cut the camera here, go gather up a whole bunch of resources, finish out the rest of the house, just like we set up this first part, uh, with this configuration, you know, for the inside. And when that's all done, I'll bring you guys back and then we'll make a bed and we'll add, you know, whatever we can to the house. 
uh, fireplace bed, that sort of thing. And then after that, the plan is to go after the blacksmith. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm just about finished here with the uh, finishing touches on the exterior of the house here. So I'm just putting these um, stone door frame pieces in to kind of, you know, as trim pieces up on the top here. And we also need to... Uh, oh, I need, a, I need to finish that corner too. So let's go back to this piece here and just fill that in there. Right there. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. So, yeah, I have... Uh, finish the interior uh, uh, and end exterior of the house. I, actually, there's there's a couple more things I want to do, uh, but I, I like this. I, I like the way this came together. We got ourselves like a little courtyard surrounding the flame altar, and then there's actually quite a bit of room in here um, if you you know take the entire house into account here. Um, I also set myself up a bed so I could just you know sleep when it got dark. So we got that down, and um, uh, let's see here. So there's a couple more things I want to do on the outside, but I'm I don't think I can make the better storage until until I get the blacksmith. Um, but I do want to I do want this to to come inside. So let's pick this up here, and if this is gonna kind of be I guess our sleeping area, maybe what we'll do is we'll make this side of the house the crafting area okay so let's flip that around and we'll just put this guy right in the corner here uh, if i press x so it snaps beautiful got that done um okay and then i might see if i can get away with just keeping these two little you know cheap storages until i can make the good stuff um so yeah, we'll keep that there for now. That there's, like I said, we, we just got a lot of room in here. But I want to do two more things before we go off and get our blacksmith. So we, you know, we kind of still have the terrain a little screwy here, and I want to see if we can fix that. So I have over back in one of these things some dirt, which I think what is what we'll need. Yeah. So let's grab this dirt out of here, and we'll go back over there, and I think we can fill this in. Be kind of nice if there's somewhere we could just level that whole section out, you know, without destroying the grass. But I don't know if we can do that or not. I've, we're, actually, we probably can. So I think if you put dirt down, it will eventually grow grass. But I don't want to spend too much more time in this because you're we're running long in this episode, and I still want to go do the blacksmith before we wrap things up. So. Um, let's go ahead and get into building mode and we want to go down to terrain. Okay. And what's that? That's a rock ramp. That's kind of cool that we can do all those. Um, it's just that these blocks are kind of, they're kind of big though, aren't they? Um, can I do it like this actually? Yeah, that seems to be working, I guess. That's going to stick up too high. Yeah, I I think that I think that's what the doctor ordered there. Um except for that I can't I don't know how to fill this in. What if I do remove? And then refill it. Hmm. I mean, I guess that could work. Especially if the grass, you know, will eventually grow over it. So, yeah, let's let's go with that. I, I think that'll be okay. All right, now, the last thing I wanted to do uh, for now, and, you know, we could... We could certainly do more with this later if we wanted to. But I, I wanted to do like little, um, you know, pavement, 
uh, sidewalks. And we could do that all the way around the house, but that, that'd be kind of expensive. So I think what we'll do for net, just for now, to wrap it up for, for this first building session, is let's go back to here, four meter, and I want, I just want to do this, except for, how do I, yeah, I want to get it down on the ground like that. Not enough free space. What? How do I get, okay, let's see, rotate, undo. I did something there for a second where it kind of sunk down in the ground. I don't know what I did, though. Hmm. If I could get it to attach to the wood foundation that's down there, that would be nice. I don't see anything... I'm not seeing anything on the screen that lets me move, move it vertically. What if we do it from out here? All right, what is this? Ah, that's what we want. A ceiling piece. There we go. Okay, and yeah, we'll just bring that out to the edge of the boundary. And it just kind of gives us a little sidewalk, you know. Um, those things are going to probably be in the way. Can we still set them down? Even with the chest there? Yeah, we can. I mean, yeah, that works. Okay, cool. So yeah, I might actually go around and I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, shit. No, that's... Okay, undo. That's too buried down too far. So let's do it from out here. Um. So I might... Like I said, I might actually go around and do this. Just gather up the stone and make like a wrap around the patio. Ooh, this might be tricky because of the terrain. Yeah, shoot. See, we run into that same problem. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's, um... Let's see if we can do the same kind of thing here. It's interesting that it doesn't bring the grass down. I mean, um, it doesn't take the grass away. There's just a little piece there. Looks like we damaged our, our stuff. So if it's damaged like that, how do we repair it? I don't know. Let's see if we can get this in now. I mean, that's probably about as good as that's going to get. Oh, that must be just like a visual thing because it's... It's, it's not cracked anymore. Okay, so I guess we didn't actually damage it. Um, okay. Well, let's just go with this for now. And we might have to do a little bit of terrain modification here. You know, to get the sidewalk all the way around there. But that's okay. I'm kind of glad that we have this situation. Because it just helps me kind of learn how to work with the game. You know, in terms of terrain. We got a little bit of a hole there, but I don't know what to do about that. So, okay, good. So that is all we're going to do for today in terms of building, but you know, I don't know if we'll stay at this base forever or if we'll find a new location and build another base in the future. We'll just kind of have to see how all of that goes. But, um, 
we're kind of there's not a whole lot more we can do i know i could make some table and chairs and stuff like that but it, we really need to go get the blacksmith and you know what i can do though i think i, I know i can i can make the the fireplace let's do that now just because it'll give us a better rested bonus um so yeah let's do the fireplace and does this give rested bonus the table does give comfort all right you know what, what the hell let's make it chairs a stool gives comfort it's benches we need resin for for that candle just does does two comfort I have some resin over here. So, and again, the only reason I'm doing this is so we can get a, a little bit better rested bonus. I mean, the only reason I'm doing it right now is what I mean. So we get a, a little bit better rested bonus before we go out and about. I also wanted to make... Oh, we got to make doors. Uh wooden double door oh that's cool we can have double doors how do i make just a door door oh up here okay never mind never mind my bad my bad um gotcha okay so i think for now because i want to save my metal scraps i think i'm just going to do crude wooden doors and then you know we can upgrade them to nicer doors later on when we have a little uh, you know a few more resources and for the fireplace, I don't know if we have to be near the, uh, we probably have to be somewhat near the bed to get its rested bonus. Or do we? Okay, so right now it says comfort level seven. If I'm all run all the way over here, it's still comfort level seven. So maybe it's just anything within the, you know, the build range. I'll bet you that's what it is. Okay, cool. So that being the case, we're going to, you know, probably do crafting over here. That's our going to be our sleeping area. So let's make this kind of like maybe the kitchen area. So we're going to take and put you in the corner. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you have to use R and the mouse wheel to get it to go diagonally. Cool. Okay, so that still only gives us comfort level 7, though. Let's get the doors in place. Excellent. Okay, we have doors in our house. Very, very good. Very good indeed. Okay, so we're still comfort level 7. What if we make a table? Uh, so we'll go here, table. And yeah, we're getting low on logs there. Oh, shoot, I already made a table. All right, well, we'll have two tables. Um... We're going to want a table over by the kitchen. Okay, there we go. Now we have comfort level eight. Good, good. Um, let's put the second table over by the crafting area. So we can use it kind of as an extra workbench. It's still only eight. So I guess we have to have a certain number of these, you know, for it to go up to the next level, I'm guessing. Um... All right, we have a bench here, and maybe we'll put the... No, let's put the bench over here so that way we can sit down at the table and eat eat our breakfast. I don't think we can actually sit on these, though. Okay, that got us to comfort level 9. Very nice. And we made a stool. How about if we put that over by our bed so when we get out of bed in the morning, we can sit on our stool to put our shoes on. Um, or we could actually use it maybe as like a little nightstand or something too. Comfort level 10. Beautiful. Okay, so if we if we go over to the... Full, okay, so that gives us a total rested bonus of 15 minutes, which is pretty good. Very, very good. I like it. And also, while we're over here, I have some wolf meat that I want to cook up. As we killed in and, and some other meat too. Killed a few more critters while we were out and about. I don't I don't think this fire goes out. Could be wrong about that. And you know, eventually we'll 
I don't know if this game has anything like a preserving bin or something, some kind of mechanic like that, but if not, we'll just put some chests over there to kind of act as the larder. I want an extra sword. Oh, right. Um, shroud wood. I, I went down and got a little bit of shroud wood because I want to make the glider and uh, the uh, grappling hook. So let's go see real quick. What? Hopefully I have everything I need for that. Uh, for both of those things. Okay, so the glider requires some fur and two more string. Let's do that first. Go grab some fur, and I think I'm going to need four scrap metal for the grappling hook. So let's just grab the scrap metal too. I'm also going to... Oh, you know what? I wanted to put a firefight... A firefight firefly lamp in here because that also gives us rested bonus um okay so we can make the glider cool and for the grappling hook we need seven more string yeah because i hope i have enough plant fiber to do that yes i do look at that it's a beautiful thing and we'll make our grappling hook okay we want to equip that and equip that and then if we go into here we now have those two items. I can't do anything more about armor until we get to the blacksmith. Uh, so we'll just have to make do with, with what we got there. So the candle... Oh, you know what? The candle gives more than the firefly does. That doesn't give us any. That's a standing torch and a wall torch. Cool. Okay, so we'll mess with that stuff later for lighting the house up. But if the candle... I got lots of wax... That gives two comfort. We should be making those. Um, I wonder if which one of those is brighter. I'm going to actually need to go uh, pick a little bit more plant fiber. And actually start to get dark too, so that's good because then we can see which one's brighter. Um, I've put, already picked most of the plant fiber around here. One thing I did notice is that if you if you log out of the game and come back in, it re-pops all of the resources in the area, which is kind of nice. This might be a little bit longer episode, guys, <laughs> but uh, I really want to get to the blacksmith uh, before we wrap things up here. You know, this uh, this stuff re-popped too. We could get some of the string we need out of this. Wow, we got a lot of animal fur out of that. That's nice. There's some string. More animal fur. Wow. I don't remember getting animal fur from those before. Cool. So yeah, the house... What the hell is that? I don't know. Uh, the house is, uh, I guess it looks okay on the outside. It's, it's, it's huge. I think it looks cooler on the inside though, you know, but you know, once we get some lighting in here and there's more, obviously more we can do to make it look even better. Okay. So let's craft a candle and firefly lamp. Maybe we'll put the candle over. Can we put it on top of the bench? Yes, we can. Look at that. That gave us level 12. Beautiful. And that's a decent amount of light, I guess. Um, how much light does this thing give off? Let's just kind of pop that in the corner. That didn't give us any more. Oh, you can see the fireflies flying around it. I think... Okay, so let's look at that for a second. And look at that for a second. I think the candle... Probably is just a little bit brighter. Not really sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and sleep. And then we're going to take off and go get our blacksmith buddy. This, fun, this game is fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and that little building sesh that we just had was cool too. That was, like I said, that was my first time doing any building in the game and kind of getting used to it. It's a, it's a little bit different, you know, than some of the other games, but not in a bad way at all. It's just different, but it's got some cool features, you know, that you don't necessarily find in some of the other games either so 
Now we could go across the bridge because we have our grappling hook now, but there's a couple things, you know, notes and things we want to read down here along the way. Um, so let's read this note here. Captain's Journal, Day 6. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes such madness. We have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Okay. So they're going to have to blow the bridge. Hey, nice. Another health potion. We'll always take one of those. Um, Let's go ahead and... Do that to get some uh, resources. No, not that. Guess we only got the wood logs out of that one. But the place we're going to go to get the blacksmith, um, we'll be able to pick up some some metal scraps from there too. So, All right, we got another note here and a torch and a chest. Captain's Journal, day 20. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge and with it our connection to supplies. But it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The cinder vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. That sounds kind of dire. What do we got in here? Some arrows. Oh, you know what I didn't do is make arrows. Damn it. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll be fine. All right. So this takes us into the shroud here. Of course, we've already been in, in the smaller areas, but uh, this stay on the path business isn't true. You have to get off the path to get stuff. Um, and at least in this this area near the bridge, it's not really that dangerous. Uh, aside from the shroud itself. Uh, I did kill a couple of baddies down here earlier, so they may not have repopped yet. And uh, we'll search this guy. Oh, yeah, there we go. And this is something or something. That's a nice bunch of stuff. And more things we could break, but... Um, again, let's let's leave that for now. Uh, that'll replenish my shroud timer, but we're not going to be down here long enough to use it. So let's leave it there for next time. In case I'm down here doing a bunch of farming or something, you know. Uh, all right, let's go up this way. Incidentally, if you didn't already know this, to get shroud wood, you just simply come down in here and cut trees down. And that's how you get shroud wood. You need it for certain things like uh, the glider, for example. But you need it for other things, too. Oh, good. A shroud survival flask and two minutes. That doesn't suck. The survival flask will add two minutes to our shroud time. We might. I mean, it's possible that we might need to use that when we, you know, do the first boss fight because we'll be down in the shroud while we're doing that. We'll see how it goes. There's some flintstone. And that brings us to this other side here. Let's go run over here really quick. There's another note. Spectacular progress is being made. To all who set their eyes upon my wondrous... No, allow me to begin again. To all travelers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it. How lucky we had a bountiful mine so close by for materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylon after my dearly departed fifth aunt. Though if she were still alive, I'm not sure she would be flattered. For her and the bridge share not just the same, or not just the name, but a brash nature. <laughs> Okay, Kate Hawthorne. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll break that stuff later. Let's keep let's get moving here. So they talked he talked about building the bridge and then it had to be destroyed. Okay, we got a baddie over here uh, with a crossbow. I think what we'll do is we'll just melee him. Nice, we got three scrap metals. Um, this is the bridge. There's a, I think there's a chest or two up here and a couple of things, but uh, again, let's just get, keep moving here. All right, I think we want to go up this way to get to the blacksmith. Yes, yes we do, okay. I have a couple more enemies to fight up here. Um, now, how many arrows do I have? I have seven flint arrows. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, if you guys didn't know this, the torch is actually really good against the bees. Couple hits and they're dead. Uh, okay, so let's switch to the bow. 
And I want to pull this guy over there. This is saying you can crouch in the bushes, you know, for like sneak attacks and things like that. Oh, we got both of them. Okay. Now this guy here, um, he's, um, he's, he stands next to, let's see if I can get it. There we go. He stands next to an explosive barrel, so if you can keep from aggroing him with the other guy, you can blow him up. It's kind of funny. But uh, that didn't work out for us this time. Okay, we'll grab that. There's a couple more chests and notes and things around here, but let's grab the blacksmith first. We got another guy in here. Dang. There we go. All right, let's take a berry to heal up. A little bit more scrap metal. Here's a note here. It's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age succeed or sustain the seeds of the other. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think any of this little stuff here is lootable. There is a little secret door behind here. And we can get a chest. Nope, we got we gotta make a lockpick for that, so we'll do that later. Um breaking these open these um chests can give you good stuff like metal scraps, for example. And look at that. Nice. Okay, let's get the blacksmith. And Oswald Anders. We have rescued him and we also now have the summoning staff, which we'll make when we get back home, because we need that to actually place him down. Okay. Uh, no, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, just a couple more real quick things before we go. Um, we can get up. Uh, here's a note here. These notes, I think, are just talking about how. Yeah, they're, it's basically just talking about how he's. They're they're trying to test the cinder. Uh, vaults to get him to work and they have a couple of failures and then the note that we read in there is where they finally figured out how to make it work. So that's really all that's all about. And I think this is more of the same. Well, okay, I guess this this says that they've finally, he's finally figured it out and then the other one was the, the blacksmith being the first dude to do it. Okay, um, so guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here. What I'm going to do is kind of hang out here and just harvest, um, you know, some of these resources up. And then we'll start the next episode with uh, the blacksmith. We'll bring him in. Um, we'll make um, the kiln and the forge and better armor and better weapons. So, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that we'll be able to do once we have the blacksmith. But that will be in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. I don't, I don't think we can do emotes in this game. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.